we're relieved, very relieved with the verdict. Um, I, I'm convinced it was the right verdict and the only verdict the, uh, the jury could have come up with here. You know, and I'm pleased for my, uh, you know, my client who's got a, a wife and a young family and it's been really hard on him. All of the eyewitnesses, including an independent person, agreed with the version that, um, that Mr. Newsham said had happened, that it was his vehicle that was cut off by the deceased and then the deceased sort of swung over and came back towards my client's vehicle. And the two expert witnesses, uh, you know, both conf in their own ways confirmed that. So the evidence really stacked up um, in his favor on that. You know, he felt really bad throughout this um, that that Mr. Dick uh, died in this in this accident. Like right from the get-go, when he first retained me, that was uh, something he said that this was just so unfortunate. And and um, so he's relieved on the one hand, but on the other hand, he's always maintained this um, that he's just so sorry that this incident happened and that someone lost their life. So he's um, you know he's he's of mixed emotions. Uh, he's glad it's at an end though. Does he regret his actions at all from that night, or? You, you know, I, I don't. Um, I, I don't know if, if regret for his actions um, is the right word, but it's close to the right word, uh, because as he said, um, even right at the scene to a policeman, like he, he, you know, never ever would he do anything like that again. And it, it's funny what happens to people, sort of in the heat of the moment, and, and you can understand it from from his perspective or any of these um, rural business people or farmers who are out there that. Um, you know they're the victim of all these crimes and it's so hard for the police to get there to catch anyone so it, you can understand them um, doing what they think they can do to help which may not be helpful and as I said to the jury it may have been ill-advised or foolish but it certainly what he was doing wasn't wrongful